Hi guys, uh, welcome, welcome back. Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, it's been a while, right? It's been a couple of weeks or a week. I haven't, you haven't seen me upload on the channel. And I just wanted to take some time and I uh, wanted to, you know, just get everything set up and get ready, get everything to schematically feel what was needed. So I needed to take a little bit of a push back, breathe, you know, and um, figure out what's going to happen. So the first video of 2020 here on the main channel, your alpha is here to tell you what is to come, what does the future hold, and also some new things as well. And there's also a little bit of uh, some little bad news, or I should say a little, and some good news as well. So, let's get the bad news out of the way first. The bad news, of course, is the fact that, well, a lot of uh, friends that I've made here on the, here on YouTube, have transitioned over to another channel another platform that works better for them and I'm happy for them I'm happy for them to have that new platform and also the bad other bad news is I have lost pack members you see YouTube likes to go through this this process where they somehow will scan or if a subscribe one of your subscribers as I call pack members is not very active on it they will delete that channel real quick so I got notified that um that I had lost over a hundred and eighty pack members so those hundred and eighty pack members are now not rolling not running with the pack and your alpha is trying to figure out like did, did, did I do something wrong? Was I not a good leader? Did I? Did, or were they just... I don't know. So, remember how I was always saying, guys, we're only this much away from 10,000 pack members strong, as looks like uh, that has ruined a lot of the plans so now we're starting again from scratch in a sense uh, last time I checked we're at nine hundred nine nine thousand nine hundred and I believe eighty so we kind of made up for it a little bit so thank you um, the other thing I wanted to give a shout out to is to all my pack members my Aussie pack members my heart goes out to all of you um, in the country for what has been going on uh, Mother Nature has been really wrecking havoc on the rural side of the country the forests, the the animals, the, the people um, to hear the koala bear may be added to the endangered species list is something I thought I would never hear and I try to ask myself what is mother nature's problem however it's like how Jeff Goldblum's Ian Malcolm said hopefully this will be true life will find a way and even if we have to give it a push so my heart and respect and to all the firefighters down there I'm not sure if you call them firefighters in the, down in Australia but for all you guys down there that are doing your thing trying to put out these fires you have my um, humble respect so I wanted to get that out the way as well okay so that's kind of the bad news and uh, a shout out that I wanted to get out 
Um, yeah, we've kind of lost some pack members. I've, I've lost some pack members in it. It's kind of hurt a little bit because I've, you know, in some ways I've already should have been past. Uh, I've already should have had over 10,000 pack members, but now I know why. So, in some ways, retrospect, thank you, YouTube, for informing me on that. So, back to the drawing board, but that's okay. That, that, that's okay. That, that's okay. Ain't, ain't, ain't gonna stop me. Ain't gonna stop me no time soon. So, what is the future hold for the channel? Well, the good same good old stuff, but added some new addances to it. You like, it's like, it's like taking a well done T-bone and you're enjoying that flavor with the combination of seasoning and rub and the fats and, and it's good. And then you add maybe a little bit of something else. You, add maybe a little bit of a, a, a sauce to it that's what this is all about you're gonna add there's gonna be a little bit of a sauce a lovely honey glaze sauce yeah so we're definitely gonna continue to do what I do best here on the main channel and that is talk a variety of geek related things one thing in particular one segment in particular that will continue to go strong because of the fact that it is my longest running segment here on this channel. It is over 300 episodes strong and I'm going to continue to do it to the best of my ability. And that is none other than the opinion spot. The opinion spot will continue and not to mention guys, I will be uploading the first opinion spot of 2020 um this week as well and what i mean by that uh you're gonna see what it is i'm not gonna ruin it for you but you will see what it is so the opinion pot will still keep going did i say pot spot will continue to go on this channel because it is my longest running segment on the channel geek thoughts the segment where i take one I take a Pacific topic and I talk about it. Oh, did I mention, guys? You can you can still request segments on the opinion spot, and uh, that is always a good thing. To, so anybody who is interested, and I got something I would love to hear your opinion on, Chris, for the opinion spot. Feel free to. Wherever you can tag me, whether it's s social media, my Instagram, somewhat. I really don't take too much stuff on Instagram because it's a little different. But Twitter, for sure. The Twitter, as well as any kind of, as well as, uh, you know, comment sections and different videos. Tell me what you want me to talk about with the hashtag opinion spot. And I will add it to the list, and then we will take it from there. So yeah, Geek Thought will continue. That will be something that will all will continue. I'm also gonna have it. I'm gonna also upload it onto another platform that I have, and I will explain that platform as well uh, at the end. Reactions. That's another thing that um, a lot of people have wondered about on the channel is reactions. I still do reactions here, but. As once again, I gotta explain it to new pack members as well, who are constantly requesting, you know, uh, videos or things like that to react to. Please do not, because this is the wrong channel for that. Reactions on this channel is is all from is my is just for me, meaning not meaning in a bad way, meaning that these are what I want to react to. So, but if you want to request something. You want to request a reaction, then that's where you send the request to Mount Vernon Kid 2. That is my all reaction channel where you can send requests and, and it will be a part of the request reaction section on that channel. Um, I'm getting ready to get back into gearing up for that channel as well. So, uh, definitely, definitely with that. 
not going to talk too much about the other uh, channels that I'm a part of. It's just mainly about the main channel and what's to come. So please don't ask me about that as of right now. No disrespect, pack members. But we talked about reactions. We talked about segments. We talked about we talked about that vlogs. Yes, uh, you will see more vlogs on this channel, including vlogs from various from various conventions that I planned to go to in the year 2020. So far, I have decided that I will be attending for the year of 2020 at least four conventions a year. Um, that's just me. Um, I feel that, that that is a nice round number to try. So this year, once again, uh, for 2020, I've already stated before in a past video, so I'm going to tell it to you again, guys. Look for vlogs for my time at Awesome Con, awesome Con in Washington, D.C. Uh, that is D.C.'s convention. That will be happening in May. I'll be going for a day. Um, looking forward to vlogging and talking to different com uh, cosplayers down there. So look forward to great cosplay interviews as well. Uh, the next one will be also in May. It will be down in Virginia Beach. It will be the Tidewater Convention. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Not only that, because one of the things I, I hope and plan to uh, meet down there is Mr. Keith David. He's going to be down there. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing Mr. Keith David, the voice of Goliath and Spawn and so many other things, man. And then, of course, of course, there's New York Comic Con. Of course. Come on. Come on. You think I would forget about not? I have gone to New York Comic Con all this time, and of course, your boy will be back there again. And then the last one that I plan to think I plan to get to, also I think it's before New York Comic Con, but I plan I I do actually want to go, and that's Baltimore Con. I definitely want to go to the uh, Baltimore Con as well. Uh, and I've passed through B more um, on my way when I was traveling to my family down in South Carolina, North Carolina. I passed through B more one time, and but I've never really planted my feet down there. And things like that. There's a couple of trips that I plan uh, to go this year. I th February I'll be down in Philadelphia. Um, that's kind of personal, guys. Um, that that's something a little personal. February I'll be going down for two days or so down to Pennsylvania, and uh, maybe I'll vlog what goes down there. But vlogging will still be a part of the channel. Um, Vlogging. I'm gonna re pretty much rearrange my channel so when new subscribers, new pack members come to the channel and they look at the channel and the, what's on there, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna put the current sections of current video sections that are real still current, and those and those sections that are not, you know, those are they're there because this is what I still honor what got me started. For example, people see the the various superhero tributes and. That got me started here on YouTube, and people that's how people flock to me. But that is, it is now kind of, I have to move past that because one, YouTube is kind of taking the fun out of uh, doing tributes now because what you may look at and be like, oh, that is, that, that music suits this character so well. And then YouTube's like, oh, you gotta change it. So it, that that kind of took the fun out of it. Creativity wise, it took the fun out of it. So yeah, vlogging will be a come was gonna become uh, still gonna be a big part of the channel. I'm I'm looking forward to vlogging at Awesome Con and Tidewater Con and Baltimore Con and 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 of course New York Comic Con again. Um, I will not be attending. Um, MegaCon again. I've had a lot of I had a couple of friends that that I've met down there. A lot of cosplayers that I met down there that I have become pretty good friends with. I've, I've become friends on social media with them, and they follow me on my various. And they've been asking me, "Hey man, you coming down?" 
to MegaCon this year because MegaCon will happen in April. And um, I, since I have to tell them, I reluctantly said I can't make it this year. Um, even another good brother of mine, you know, wanted, he was asking me. Uh, reason being is I have a family reunion um, uh, the, during the time of uh, MegaCon, so I won't be able to make it. Um, besides, I was able to check MegaCon off that bucket list of comic conventions I don't want to get to. I have to keep going. And I have to keep pushing to complete that list. So I can't go. Uh, I wish I could, but I can't. Um, I, I kind of planned out what conventions I wanted to get to. The bigger, the smaller. Next year, the 2020, 2021, definitely I will be adding another big uh, convention back to the list. Um, it's either going to be the convention in Chicago, because I know that's happening too, but I don't, I don't think I'll be prepared for it. It's either Chicago, uh, C, the C2E2, the CE. C2, I think I'm saying, the Chicago Comic Expo, uh, definitely going to get to that one out in Chicago, definitely, uh, and besides besides that, uh, there's maybe a few more, but definitely next year, I'll be, I'm definitely going to go to Chicago uh, Expo, I'm definitely going to uh, plan that out again like I've done before, so yeah, there, there's some things coming. The other, um... The other kind of vlog adventure that I've, I've heard some people actually ask me, um, com commented on, and um, sent me like messages on my, like I said, on my various, um, various accounts, and they were saying like, you're, you're from New York, Chris, and I'm like, yeah, I'm from New York, but you're, you don't live in the city part of New York, I'm like, no, I don't live in the five boroughs. Um, my name is exactly where I live. I live in Mount Vernon, New York. Money earning Vernon. The 914. Let's say, you know, birthplace, home of people like Denzel Washington, Heavy D, people like that. I'll be sure. I got there's so many celebrities that are from Mount Vernon. But someone asked me once, maybe you should give us a tour of your city, and I'm like, hmm. Should I? I mean, it's not much. It's not much, but when I started to think about it, I was like, maybe the pack needs to see the place that I was raised and how it kind of shaped me into who I am today. So I was like, you know what? I'll do that sometime in the, the summertime or the springtime. I will kind of give you guys a tour of Mount Vernon, New York, show you the places, the schools I went to, um, places where I played, you know, played Little League Baseball or national, like, spots, like, spots that a lot of kids here in Mount Vernon go to or just are is some of the oldest spots here in, in Mount Vernon. So I definitely will show you guys that a vlog adventure of Mount Vernon, New York. Um, so I, I will do that for you. I was like, I thought about it for a while because people were, three people asked me and they were like, you should show off your city. And I'm like, okay. Then I really thought about it. I was like, all right, I'll do it. So I'm going to do that. That's another thing that's going to be coming, um, as well for the channel. And those are kind of, that's kind of a newer thing too. That's, I've never done that before, but I've seen other YouTubers do it. Like, and I'm like. I've seen other people do it, so I'm like, you know what? I'll do it. Let me, maybe I will do it. it. It'll be fun. It'll be fun and interesting. Um, I could, sh like I said, show you my my old schools, whether it was my elementary school, my junior high school, my high school, um, places I, places that mean a lot to me in terms of like memories or significant moments in my life that shaped me, uh, and like I said, just places. Me or my brother Malcolm go to that, you know, it's always fun. Uh, so, vlogging is going to be a big on this channel. Uh, that, and that will definitely be a part of it. 
Uh, other segments that you would usually see me do on the channel, uh, there's going to be some, I wouldn't say cleaning, but more like they are being imported somewhere else. And I will get to those at the end as well. But one of the imports that has moved, remember the series Characters Why I Like Them series? I did about three series here on the channel where I took a character that I love and it gave you kind of a crash course in their history. Well, that has moved. That has now been exclusively moved to another part. And I will explain that at the end again. Uh, but all in all, a lot of the stuff that you know about me on this channel will be staying newer stuff that I've, I've thought about doing and I think you know I'm like you know what I saw cats like one of one of the cats that I literally love see do this and I also got it from another channel that I love two channels indeed so you're gonna start seeing me try things like foods and stuff like that um, and give my thoughts <laughs> on them as well um, and I got this because of the fact that besides like Dashy and people like that that I love, I love, you know, YouTubers like that, but one of his boys, his good friends, Lamar Wilson, nice ass dude, cool dude, he's another one that kind of does like these try things and things like that, and I'm like, you know, I should do that too. That you know, just people want to see. Cause I know there's some of you guys that ask me, like, have you tried this yet, or something like that. And even trying foods that I've never had, and you know, I've always been on my mind to try. Um, so I will definitely do that. And of course, I also got to give a shout out and love to Hi Ho Kids. That's a channel that I love, where they have kids from the Seattle area, and they try different foods and things like that. And of course. The Tri Channel. I'm a big fan of the Tri Channel. Um, you know who knows what that is? Just look it up. It's, but it's it's so great. I love it. And all these things kind of motivated me to like. All those factors motivated me. Like you should try it, Chris. And some of the things that I'm definitely going to try is just some imported stuff. Only imported things that come from different countries. For example. I have been hearing for the longest time, not even just from people, not even just seeing it, but hearing it from you, my Aussie pack members. When I've mentioned this candy, you have guys have said, it's like an orgasm in your fucking mouth. Excuse my language, but Tim Tams. So yes, I'm already, I'm already kind of giving you a, I'm giving you a spoiler on one of the try videos you will see me try and that is a is Tim Tams I've heard nothing but good things about Tim Tams and I, I went to I think I went to uh, world uh, worldgrocery.com or something like that or uh, and and I think it's that's the name of time and they had Tim Tams and I'm like that's going on the list I will be buying those to try on the channel. You might even see your first try video sometime this week or next week because um, a new cereal has come out and um, I think it's time to try it. You know, uh, I'm not going to spoil what it is, but yeah, I'm going to try it. Uh. So you're definitely going to see, you know, try channel, some, not try channel. You're definitely going to see some me trying new things, whether it's foods or something like that. It's, it's definitely going to be more food related. So for food enthusiasts, there you go. Um, I tend to another uh, try video. I'm going to give you two spoilers because I, I said, you know, when I planned this, I said, okay, I'll give them two spoilers of the try the try videos that I'm gonna do the next one of course is going down into the city because once again on social media I've seen a lot of friends especially that live on the West Coast in the California areas 
in different cities in California, California have eaten at this place and I've seen it on videos and uh, uh, food enthusiast Anthony Bodain has went there and that place is called Jollibee's. There's a Jollibee's in the city, in Manhattan, and you will see me go on a trip there uh, to try this, this Filipino franchise. It is as big as McDonald's, especially in the Philippines. It is huge. And most of the friends that have told me, they're like, you got to try their, their, their peach pies as well as their, they have this spaghetti that it's like their sauce is not even like tomato -y, it's more sweet. And I'm like, okay. And of course, they also do chicken, so I'm definitely gonna try that. And I've kind of been going on like I've been kind of eating a lot of light, light lately. I haven't been eating like heavy. Um, after a while, I've been kind of feeling a little sluggish a little bit, guys, as of late. And I've decided to kind of cut back on a lot of intake. So as of now, you know, I've been really kind of lowering my intake of certain things. Uh, I'm drinking a lot more water than I, I usually do. Um, I have officially given up uh, soda. Like I don't drink soda. Uh, that was the first thing I started doing this year for 2020. I don't drink soda. Um, I drink more teas now. Um, in terms of foods, like I'm eating a lot more salmon, you know, fish with omega threes in it. Um, you know, I'm just kind of getting to the point where you know I'm getting older now so I gotta remember now like as I'm getting older a lot of things that I used to eat heavily you know my body is gonna be like hey you, you better chill calm down with that so I gotta calm down but sometimes it's hard it is about discipline but I, I have a lot of discipline to make that work for me so yeah you yeah but definitely you're definitely gonna see me trying those things there's a couple other places I don't want to ruin for you, but it's all part of the plan, and I'm ready to show that to you. Um, so yeah, you're definitely going to see me trying things and having a good time, and you're going to get my honest reaction. Like, if I don't like it, I'm going to tell you, I don't like it. Um, you know, I didn't like it, you know, but the first thing, my pack, what am I always, I always say, keep it real. And so that's the first thing. Um, speaking of keeping it real, I'm thinking about bringing back that channel, the bringing back that segment where, you know, the kid gloves are off. You know, no, it's it's not it's it's it's, it's Chris. It's not it's not the Mount Vernon kid. It's, it's Chris, and it may come down to some things where some that I I want to get off my chest and keeping it real and if nobody likes that's fine but I used to do it before when I, I would tell certain things like a story or that you should get a life lesson from I'm thinking about bringing that back or just what's going on in the world right now like how do I feel like what does Chris feel about this does he talk about this stuff why doesn't he talk about it and the reason why is because I always my channel has always been about bringing you out of that for a while you know I'm, I try to take your mind away from it for a while just for a minute or two but I, I definitely want to think about bringing that back you know, real talk all right real talk let me let me let me break it down for you uh, so that's definitely a thing uh, definitely a thing a lot of new things are coming that's that's what I was always about I gotta I gotta bring some new things into the channel as well and move some things out that I'm not really too big on or things like that. Uh, the other thing, I want to give a, I give appreciation to everybody who's been enjoying the, spe who enjoyed the special reactions of me watching um, watching uh, you know the Crisis on Infinite Earths. I'm sorry, I kind of blanked out. There's squirrels right outside my window, and they're crawling right, and I can hear them, which is sick. Um, 
but yeah, uh, definitely gonna bring that up. Movie reviews, uh, that, that I definitely am gonna get back on those as well. You know, I've kind of fallen off the movie reviews, and I think, but 2020 is starting, and the first movie. Kind of a spoiler alert that you will be seeing a spoiler is for Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life. So you're definitely going to see a review of that when that drops. I still need to put up reviews of various TV shows, especially from Netflix, That especially The Witcher. You guys will see a Witcher uh, review. When I finally finish watching that, I have been so freaking busy, I have not been able to sit down and watch it. And you're just going to see a guy who is just really green. But just got into it. I saw one. I saw a fight scene from the first issue, the first episode, with this just swordsmanship alone, and I was just I was blown away. I was like, okay, I, I like what I just saw. Uh, so yeah, definitely movie reviews be coming back. The other thing that also I, I think a lot of people are probably wondering is Chris. I haven't seen a lot of comic reviews from you. Have you fallen off the com? Haven't fallen off the comics. It's just I haven't done reviews of them, and so reviews will be back, but they're going to be, reviews will be more monthly, so what I, how I plan now to do is, it's January now, so when I finish reading all the books of January, of the month of January, that review will go up. So, and here on the main channel, I don't review, I'm just going to be reviewing, you know, um, Marvel and DC books, but for like indie books and things like that, there's another channel you can go to for that. Uh, more and more, the plan for the, uh, the podcast is becoming more and more ready almost ready to go and ready to be announced I haven't announced anything yet but it's getting closer and closer to that time and I hope you guys will be ready for that where it's just I'll be looking forward to uh, seeing how Geek Ramble the Geek Ramble podcast will go. So, yeah, definitely going to be on that. That's going to be good. Uh, and uh, last but not least, it is time to tell you uh, something else that I'm sure you guys have not or are aware of or you probably haven't talked about yet. Or so I haven't talked about it. Uh, remember I told you some things are moving yeah there are some things that are moving like I said characters why I like them now will be on exclusively on a new platform that I have uh, that I have started and I started not too long ago um, you've probably heard of Valer T.TV um, that is where friends like Real Manos is over there now uh Mr. J, Deadpoolzilla, well, he's not called Deadpoolzilla anymore, he is called Mr. Multiverse now, my friend is over there, so I started something over there too, and um, that's where a lot of things are going to go to, um, so far YouTube has not really hit me with anything that's kind of hurt me yet, and I understand why some people went there, but it hasn't hurt me yet. I'll leave the link in the description down below. So if anybody wants to, you know, has a Valer TV, Valer TV account, and you wanna keep up with guys like Deadpoolzilla or Mr. Multiverse and Mr. J, they're over there. So you should you should sub to them, um, follow them. They call followers over there. Um, I have. Not a lot, but I have a few, and I think um, that's just the way it is. And I'm definitely gonna put some more stuff up there. Uh, but uh, characters where I liked them is gonna be over there for sure. Uh, there's a couple more segments I may put over there as well, uh, but that now is exclusive over there. So 
I've been putting together a list of characters that I'm going to talk about over there. And already the first, the first few characters that I'm talking about are the new mutants. Um, Sun, Sunspot for sure. Um, Danny Moonstar, you know, people like that. Uh, Cause and yeah, please, please stop asking me about if I'm gonna go see New Mutants. Cause I'm not. I don't care for it. Um, I, I have said it before. I am, I am, I am boycotting that movie. Um, I'm boy, I was boycotting it when I saw the cast. I was like, okay, I'm done. Nope. No thank you. No thank you. No fucking thank you. You know, you you did it again, Fox. That's why now you don't have them no more. Good riddance. So now. So, and besides that, like, I, I'm not interested in it. I really am not. I saw that trailer and people asked me, didn't you like seeing Ileana get, have the soul sword? I was like, no, I didn't. Because it looked like that scene alone made it look like that was her mutant power. And that's not her fucking powers. So, no thank you. No thank you. But I'm not here to end this video on a bad note. I'm here to end it on a good note. Um, and the good note is, guys, once again... 2020 for the channel should be fun. I'm all about having fun. And uh, there's some things that I haven't talked about because I want to surprise you with some of them. But I want to thank everybody. Thank all my pack members. Your Alpha thanks you so much. I love you guys so much for staying with me. If you've been with me since day one for this channel, since that day I uploaded my first vid, and that was probably back in 2009 or 2008, one of them. I started the channel back in 2007, but I, I didn't upload anything until maybe 2008 or 9. If you've been with me, rocking with me since then, that is why you are my, you are a part of the pack elite. If you are just coming onto the channel, and you like what you see, something about what I said that earned me a new pack member. Like I said before, welcome to the pack. I even got t-shirts with that, like that's my, my merch. Um, planning some new merch ideas as well, so that's another thing. But I, I wanna thank everybody once again. I, I know I rambled on about this. Uh, this update video channel update but this is the future and what the plans are for 2020 uh, for the channel stay tuned as always keep it real as always um, and just stay tuned because the planning alone just got me excited I'm, I'm, I nearly I nearly jizzed on myself when I was planning all this stuff and I'm just like this is gonna be fun <laughs> I was just trying to do that to make you laugh uh, so yeah if, if I got excited just planning imagine what it's gonna be like filming these things that's the best part about it and you may see especially with the try the, the try videos it may be me alone it may me it may be me and Malcolm, my brother, or somebody else, but the fact is, it's going to be fun to do, and it's going to be fun, but so, like I said before, look out for me trying Tim Tams, for sure, look, that's a spoiler, I, look out for me trying Jollibee's, another spoiler, but there, you may see a try video, not too far into the future. Just be ready. And with that being said, guys, thank y'all so very much. And I'll see you guys next time.